Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, <sighs> breathe, think positive. I want you to clear your thoughts. I want you to clear your mind. And what I want you to concentrate on is choose to be positive and you're halfway there. <sighs> Sounds difficult, doesn't it? That's exactly what I've written down here. The first word under what I have wanted to talk about to you today, I've put difficult, hard topic, a lot of people aren't going to get it. Well, here's where I'm coming from. I've been in a difficult situation. I'm sure you've been in a difficult situation. How often do you ever want to do something in this life, whether it be a new job, whether it be you want to buy something which is extravagantly expensive, or perhaps you want to completely change your life. The first step is being able to believe in yourself that you can. Okay? So believing that you can will give you that power to pick up your foot and make that first step. But of course, it's not just the foot which brings us forward, is it? It's our mental state of mind. It's our capability. It's our thought processes. It's our heart, our stomach, because that feeling in your stomach, if it's not in the right sink, then it's not going to get you there to being able to pick up your foot to be able to take that first step in what you want to be. So my friends, my subscribers, and if you've just stopped by for a few seconds, <laughs> I hope you're subscribed, but choose to be positive. And my dear friend, you are halfway there. Okay, let me share with you where this is coming from. So for a while, unfortunately, I found myself in a bit of a difficult situation. In terms of health, I had a lot of problems with my uh, my groin, my, my hip, my groin, my leg, unfortunately, my right side. I had a hernia repair surgery, which turned into another hernia repair surgery, which turned into a bladder operation, which then turned into a full groin reconstruction. A couple of weeks ago, I fell over and... I caused myself a lot of problems, but before that, my leg was getting a little bit weaker, giving way. And now I'm waiting to see a whole host of different specialists to be able to get me back on the right road. However, in the mix of all that, I'm going to be turning 30 this year. I've got to be planning what I want to do. I've just started a new job. Okay, there's lots going on. I've got family members to support. My mum, bless her heart, one of my dear best friends has just had major surgery. My brother, he suffers with mental health problems. And that's okay. Do you know what I mean? Please do not sit there and think that I've just said that, that, oh, no, mental health, we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. We need to be open with it. And that's what I've learned this past couple of weeks. Okay. So with that going on, and then my nan no longer being with me, I lost my nan. I lost my nan on May the 31st, 2021. Now, I know a lot of people out there will be thinking it's coming up to two years, but let me tell you something. It doesn't even feel like it's been two days, to be honest. And I still feel as though that I'm going to be seeing her just around the corner. So that's really, really tough. I've had a health problems for myself, so I know that it would be just as easy to take a breath and to sit in a dark corner and just sit down and say, do you know what? I can't do this life anymore. Here we start. Right. Why? Do you know what? For a start. If you need permission or something, that's fine. Go and do it. Go and sit in that corner. Go and sit in that corner. Take a few breaths. Feel sorry for yourself. Life is hard and it's really difficult. And believe you me, it's tough. But from my fa one of my favorite sayings, one of my favorite inspirational moments in that sort of little push in life, okay, is this which comes to my mind, which is actually from a film. I'd have loved to have made this up, but I didn't. You can deal with everything. No, hang on. You can deal with anything because you've dealt with everything. Now, let's just quote that through in my mind. You've lost an amazing person in your life as a second mother to you. Yes. Nan is now the above with the Lord looking down on me. Oh, bless you, Nan. You have dealt with more health problems than what you could probably fill a dictionary with. Yeah. Okay. You have had. A job promotion. A very stressful one at that. Yes. Did. The list goes on. So, I could sit here and I could think to myself, do you know what? I can't deal with this. Or I could think to myself, I could be a little bit sort of stuck up about it. And I could go, do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. But all of that aside, 
The thing is, we have two choices in this life, don't we? We can sit there and we can think, actually, do you know what? I can't do this. It's okay. That's okay to do that. I'm not saying to you that's not. And sometimes that's all we can do. And sometimes just taking the breath to acknowledge that is enough. On those days when it's enough, that's fine. Congratulate yourself because sometimes just knowing that you're in that situation, you're in that position where you can't do any more or you can't take anything else right this moment to acknowledge that, that's, that takes strength. That takes mental strength. That takes physical stability in your life to turn around and say to you, you know what? Enough is enough. Let me just sit here and be me and whatever this is going on around me. Let it just be for a moment until I can actually get it all together up here and then move forward. That's enough. Okay. The second option at the other end of that table, okay, is that actually I like to look at it as our life is a book. Okay. Now I'm not going to get all philosophical on you because I want to put this in quite simple terms. When you've had those days and let yourself have those days, it's vitally important. But once you've had those days and it's time to get back up and it will be, okay, sit there and say to yourself, life is a book. But you may be thinking, oh, I don't like reading. I'm not all about reading here. Okay. Life is a book. Okay. Next stage. Write your book how you'd like to read it. Are you going to sit there and you're going to read a book which is just flat, which is just darkness, sorrow? Yes, there's bad things ahead. Yes, there's worries. Yes, there's stresses ahead. Yes, I can't sit here and tell you that it's all going to be okay. But what you can do is make the most of the privilege we all have as life. I always tell myself that actually nobody is promised a tomorrow. I know very, very solemn. But nobody is promised a tomorrow. And if we're blessed with another, let's grab it with both hands and let's run with it. Now, I know I've been there. When someone has a very tragic illness or if somebody has gone through hell and back again and there and back again, okay, or you've lost somebody, your world collapses in on you. And let me tell you, it does. And it's hell. Okay, it really, really is hell. And that pain doesn't go away because grief, again, quoting from another amazing area, grief is love, but yet nowhere to go. But yet here, in here, it doesn't ever go. It stays here always. And those who we lose then take their place above. And there they sit, the Lord above, watching over us, guiding us, giving us courage, sending us love, sending us happiness, guidance, all of those wonderful, great things to be able to get us through from day to day. And they're always there in everything. So what I want to say to you is that, yes, life is tough. Yes, life is difficult. But actually, it is a gift. And at the end of every dark situation, there is light. I've done a clip on my channel. In the darkest of times, there is light. And you know what? Straight away, it's difficult to see. When you've gone through something, the worst ever, or a tragic or a horrific event, then ignore my words because you need time to breathe, cry, shout, scream. But when you've done that, then remember these words. Life is a gift. I know in my heart, when I lost my nan, I used to say, sadly, we have to go on. Time is cruel. Life is cruel. It moves us forward. You could say that chess piece falls off and we have to take our turn. You could say that the Lord takes care of those who we lose and yet we must open our heart and we must share those thoughts and that love with him above and we must share, we must pray and that gives us strength and that gives us guidance and then he takes over. He's in every situation. He guides us, he pulls us through, he gives us strength. He's there always and he may not always be in how you think he's going to be there. If you ask for help or if you ask for a situation to be resolved or if you ask for something to go away and you think, actually, do you know what? This figure's just going to come in my life and that's just going to disappear. No, you ask to be stronger. You'll be granted with a solution which will make you stronger. OK, this life is not easy. OK, 
If you feel that you cannot get through something and you ask him to get you through the situation, then something will happen to be able to, for you to jump to a different area, to jump to something else in your life. And then you will do this and then you will do that. And then five minutes later, you'll think, wow, I'm there. You got through it. And the Lord above helped you through it. If you're not of faith or if you're not of religion, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You are you. And you're special just because you're that. Life is not easy. But being positive is a little bit easier. Choose to say you can. Choose to say you will. Choose to say you keep trying. And my friend, my subscriber, anybody who's just stopped here, you'll get there. Because half the battle is believing you can. Half the battle is getting out of bed in the morning. Half the battle is having the courage to say this is not right. Half the battle is to turn around and say, I don't feel okay. I need help. I need someone to hold out their hand and I'm going to take it. And you know what? That's absolutely fine. Because you're going to get that. Be positive, my friends. Be positive. And if you believe, then you're halfway there already. From my heart to yours, God bless. Take great care. And if there's anything I can help you, if you'd like to ask a question, if you'd like to know anything at all, please leave me a message or a question or anything down below. And I do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. My last words to you. Think of this. You're you. There's nobody else in this world. Because you're you. There's not another you. Take great care. God bless. Be kind to yourself and be positive. If you want that job, go get it. If you want to be with someone, be with somebody. If you think that someone's not going to approve, or if you think that you can't because of a, a stigma or society, that's what you want. And you're not hurting anybody, you're not breaking any laws, you're not doing anything. And follow your heart. If you're in a financial issue which is causing you destitute, you'll get there, my friend. There's much more to money in life than money. You will get there. If you want to climb a mountain, you'll get there. If you want to breathe a sigh of relief and hope that somebody's always going to be there, I can't promise you that. So what I will say to you is, for now, love and cherish them as much as you can, because they may be unwell, or they may, unfortunately, have a date or something ahead of them. But actually, my friend, none of us know. None of us know. God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.